excited. Look at the state of my skin though, it's really bad. So, um, I am just getting ready. Um, I don't think I've really shared this much on um, my channel or anything, that's the bed squeaking. Yeah, I don't think I've really shared this on um, my channel or any of my social media, but um, today I am, sorry the kettle's boiling, <laughs> Today I am going to be climbing a pylon, so I have been raising money for Alzheimer's. Um, I'm so excited. I work with an energy firm. Um, I'm not going to say who I work for, because I'd just rather keep that private at the moment. Um, and ever since I've been working with them, I have wanted to climb a pylon, ever since I found out that it was possible to do so, even though was pretty dumb though if you couldn't um so yeah so today i'm going to climb one um it's not going to be a live pylon so a lot of people are like are you allowed to do that surely you'll die <laughs> like no i'm not gonna die so i am currently at our training facility um it's really cool because they have like their own um like they have accommodation which is where i've stayed now and it's kind of like a nice student halls, like this is the room that I'm in. I'm not doing a hotel room tour for this one. Um, there's not much I can say about it, it's just like a normal hotel room but it's with my work. So it's basically where like all of their students and um, like teenagers stay. So it's kind of like a hall, it's like it's got its own bar downstairs. Um, like in the restaurant is where you go for your dinner. It's really, really cool. Um, but the accommodation is nice. It's just I was the only adult here last night, so they were all teenagers and they were really, really, really loud. Someone had a TV on till God knows what time and I finally fell asleep at about 10. I have raised £630. My target was to actually raise £300 and um, last night I only needed £30 to reach £600 um, then someone sponsored me £10 and then Joe, my boyfriend, sponsored me £50 and so now it's at £630 so yes, I'm really, really, really happy about that so, so happy my dad also sponsored me £100 um, so that shot it up quite a lot and I'm just so happy. I really thought I was going to struggle um, getting to the £300 but I really haven't and it just shows that I've got such supportive friends and family around me and colleagues as well because a lot of colleagues have sponsored me. So I'm going to go and make my coffee now. I might do some video clips later and so I'll see you then. I've just got this t-shirt on, it's Sensor Jador on the front of it. Um, it's just from Dorothy Perkins and it needs an iron but I'm wearing a boy seat on top so it doesn't really matter. Nope. <laughs> I found a baby bell on my handbag. It must have been there like a day and I ate it. Is that gross? Here goes the jumpsuit. I think I'm not going to do it up until I actually have to go up. <laughs>
well it wasn't a vlog it was just kind of like a video doing of today's climb um it was absolutely amazing i am nearly home now i've got about uh 40 minutes to go and another 40 miles so i am actually really disappointed with myself because I got to the second arm on the pylon. So the arms are the large metal bits that come out the side of the pylon. And basically I was able, like I could have kept on going, but I have short legs and there was just no extra peg. There was like lots of fiddly bits of metal that you had to stand on and there just wasn't like a piece that I could get my leg onto. So my little short legs couldn't get me on the third arm. I was so annoyed. I tried for, it felt like honestly about like 15 to 20 minutes. That's what it felt like. It probably was like two minutes, but the guy behind me who was climbing, um, like the trainer guy who was climbing with me, he was below me and I was in the middle, like above him. And um, he was like telling me where the, cause they have like pegs that you can stand on and like hold, like you hold them and you put your feet on them. And he was telling me where the next one was. But I, I just, every time I pulled my leg up, I just couldn't do it. And he said that I did so well going up to as far as I did that I probably used most of my energy, which is why I just couldn't swing my leg up. So like I, my leg just wouldn't stretch and you have to kind of like swing your leg in like different sort of like it was really weird like there was one bit where he was like turn your foot I was like I cannot turn my foot that way but so I actually did manage to climb 36 meters um the actual height of the pylon was 42 meters so when I say I got to the second arm that really isn't really isn't that bad that is still a long way that I managed to go and I'm so happy that I managed to do it I was tempted to ask them when after because we had lunch there and then they had three more people that needed to climb so I was tempted to ask them if I could go up again but that would have made the afternoon a lot longer and the last three people we did climb up in twos but the last three people would have then but it would have meant that one of them would have had to wait for me and and it's kind of I felt like it was a little bit it was a bit unfair of me to do that especially when like the guys who are the trainers well they you know that's their full-time job but they they do have like other things that they need to do as well for like overhead lines so I just thought nah, I'm sure another opportunity will come up where I can climb a pylon again and I can't even imagine, like, I can't actually describe the feeling of climbing that pylon. Obviously, let me just say, it is actually illegal for you to just go and climb a pylon, so do not do it. I have said before, I work for an energy firm, company, and I went up with the proper gear, with actual overhead line trained engineers we all did we were connected with ropes fall arrest gear we were literally properly belted up to the nines to this thing i thought i heard a bee in my car then so do not go and climb a pylon it is illegal please do not do it it wasn't illegal for me obviously the pylon also I had a lot of people asking me was it a live pylon no it was not a live pylon it was a real pylon yes but it was at our training facility and therefore because it was at our training facility none of the training gear is allowed to be um, attached to the grid so to say it is not live um, so answers a question before I get people asking on the comments I feel like it's a real like unique thing to be able to say that you have climbed a pylon I, I think I really think it is and I really am so grateful for the opportunity that 
this company gives me like I just think not a lot of people can say like oh what did you do today oh, I climbed a pylon I just feel like this company gives me such great opportunities it's so cool and um, if you have followed me on snapchat today I don't know when I'm going to put this up but today is Thursday the 15th of June so if you have followed my snapchat story today you would have seen me staying at the accommodation last night all the way through to dinner and then to this morning when I was getting ready and I am now have done like a little vlog here I've just used my phone because I didn't bring my um, camera do you know I forgot my GoPro and everything literally I was so mad um, so yes yeah, so if you follow my snapchat then you will see loads and loads of pictures loads and loads of clips um, yeah the reason also as well um, my t-shirt this is not the t-shirt that I was wearing in this morning's vlog so we got given um, t-shirts with the charity on it so if I move that bit of hair you can see it outside my society I don't want to move this piece of hair because it has my company name on it which I will probably have to blur out or put something here anyway because I think my hair keeps moving which is annoying um, but it, it was absolutely awesome it was amazing one of the best opportunities I have had in my life I would really like to go again um, if you ever get the chance to do something like like something outrageous with work like you should definitely do it so yeah just on my way to Tesco now to go and get myself a drink because oh my gosh I'm so thirsty it makes you thirsty so so thirsty so I'm going to get some Diet Cokes and I think I'm going to get some fizzy water and hope that I don't need to go for a wee on the way home because I think I live like 25 minutes away from this Tesco. Anyways, so thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I hopefully will have loads more fun videos coming soon.